let's just say loud words were spoken, words like detestable and wretched, odious and vile. How embarrassing. You mean I could have just been talking to thin air? Sheriff Buddy stole a little of my thunder with his Troll on Patrol video. He showed me cutting dead branches out of the holly behind our greenhouse. A good chunk of that holly died last year, and I've been slowly cleaning it up a little at a time for a while now. My plan is to put bark mulch under what remains and arrange some hollowed out log round planters around it. Pine cones make some of my favorite bark mulch. If you've ever lived in an area with a lot of mature pine trees, you know how pine cones pile up. They do here, that's for sure. Have you ever tried to burn pine cones? They don't burn very easily. Running them through a chipper shredder makes a nice bark mulch that's very hardy and should be more fire resistant than the standard maple and cedar branches that I also chip and shred out here.
it turned out just as nice as I would have hoped. Let's take a quick look. Now that that's done, let's go down to the Troll Mound compound and say hello to Buddy. Sheriff Buddy, anybody home down there? Hey Buddy, I was just wondering about that hobbit that was staying at the log cabin Airbnb the other day? How did he like it? He never even said hello to me. He didn't spend that much time in the cabin, Brian. He might not have even been there when you were trying to talk to him. How embarrassing. You mean I could have just been talking to thin air? He did say to say thank you for the quail eggs and that they did in fact make an excellent second breakfast. Anyone new staying in the cabin right now? A leprechaun named Flippy Off O'Patrick. Could you bring him some quail eggs too? What do I look like to you? A troll Airbnb concierge? Just kidding. I'd be happy to, buddy. Wendy prefers working with the chicken eggs, so we do have extra quail eggs right now. We have had a lot of interest from more local folk too. Human beings are encroaching on all of the natural spaces over on the west side of the greater Portland area. Magical creatures want a place to stay over here on the east side while they check things out before deciding to emigrate. Humans build things and we expand our territory. I'm afraid that's just what we do. Are you and the other trolls worried about the development that's going on right around here. I have talked with our troll king about it. Let's just say loud words were spoken. Words like detestable and wretched, odious and vile. What a ghastly debacle is one of his favorite expressions. He often starts a sentence with the impertinence, but just doesn't have the, the heart to finish it. You're a human. Can't you do something to make the other humans stop? Humans use money, not magic. To prevent development, I'd have to buy the land myself, and it would be way too expensive. Like my shirt says, sawdust is man glitter. Money, not magic. Sawdust, not pixie dust. So, not unless I win a really big Powerball or Mega Millions jackpot. Is there any chance you could use your magic buddy to make that happen? The only type of being with that kind of juice is a gin. You don't want anything to do with a gin, Brian. They are always bad news. Gin? You mean like I Dream of Genie? Genie, yes, but the gin are not like that old TV show. Well, what about this Flippy Off character? I hear leprechauns have pots of gold somewhere under a rainbow somewhere. That is a myth, I think. Leprechauns are stingy little bastards anyways. I don't know who told him about your quail eggs, but why else do you think he would have asked about them? He just wants a free breakfast. Zoning is what it's all about when it comes to municipal government and land use. Right now, the creek and the forest that surrounds it, I believe are earmarked to remain green space. But the pasture beyond is zoned light industrial. We're actually fortunate that it's not zoned residential. If it had been residential, I'm sure a developer would have built houses on that land already. 
Light industrial. Doesn't sound that good, Brian. I'm with you, buddy. Think in terms of small business strip malls with lots of parking lots. Hopefully, that kind of development is years in the future. Cross our fingers, many years in the future. Why can't they just zone it as pasture land or a nursery or a community garden? I like the way you think, buddy, but it's about economics and job growth for the city. You know, if the fairies and trolls and the visiting hobbits and leprechauns all decided to suddenly become visible and mounted a, a protest down at City Hall, I'm pretty sure you could get quite a bit of attention. On the other hand, that kind of attention would probably be worse than the development itself. Well, I'll keep an eye out for a pot of gold. If I find it, I'll give it to you, Brian. I really appreciate that, buddy. It would take an awfully big pot of gold 